How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Right now, it's August, it's summertime, and I am going to, or I'm, I've arrived at Cypress Lake Provincial Park by Tobermory, and I'm going to do a little family trip to Tobermory, and we're going to explore the grotto, we're going to explore Flower Pot Island, but I'm staying by Cypress Lake, and we're going to stay in a yurt, and uh, we're going to have a family weekend, hopefully I get some uh, fishing in. So we've arrived and this is our yurt. Comes equipped with a barbecue, your own um, your own uh, little fire pit, eating area, yurt, and these yurts come with bunk beds, a pull down, another fire pit. A skylight again the barbecue cooking area was pretty neat and this is uh, my yurt is right next to Cypress Lake I've never fished this lake before I don't know what to expect I haven't done fishing in a while just life and work is getting just way too busy but here it is Cypress Lake Cypress Lake and my family is already starting to fish. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous lake. There are no motorized boats allowed on this lake. So only kayaks, canoes, inflatables. And I might even wade into the water to do some fishing. The weeds there look really juicy. I mean, um, some things I can expect from this lake, probably some sunfish, of course, rock bass. Bass up here, the water's cooler. The substrate looks kind of hard on the bottom, so I'm guessing smallmouth, maybe walleye too. The grotto at the Bruce Peninsula is the most identifiable landmark and it was formed through thousands of years of water just hammering the, uh, the cliff face and eroding the softer limestone, leaving behind the dolomite. And it's a beautiful place with crystal clear waters, as you can see here. The other landmark that we visited was the Flower Pot Island. And the Flower Pot Island in Tobomori was formed in a similar way, years of water washing away the softer stones leaving behind the dolomite and on the way there we took a boat trip to the glass bottom and we were able to see a couple of shipwrecks as you can see here and when we arrived um, the boat tour took us around the island and we were able to see the flower pots we got off the um, we got off the boat and then we hiked over to the flower pots on foot it's beautiful as you can see here. On the way from Southern Ontario to Tobermory, I highly recommend that you check out the caves. Um, there are several places where you can check out caves. There's uh, Bruce's Caves and Greg's Caves. And we went to Greg's Caves. For a small fee, you can uh, hike along a trail. And along that trail are several pretty large caves that you can explore. I recommend that you wear insect repellent and uh, good fitting shoes, good fitting hiking shoes because there's uneven terrain, but uh, the views are breathtaking. Highly recommend it. I'm at the beautiful Cypress Lake in Tobermory. It's part of a provincial park that's attached to the grotto by Georgian Bay, which is a really beautiful structure, crystal clear waters. If you're on vacation with the family and do a little bit of fishing on Cypress Lake. I was camping with my family and wasn't focused on making videos, so uh, I didn't have my GoPro with me, but I do have some pictures and some videos of my trip. Um, here I am holding up my first bass, which I caught on a diving crankbait. And this is the crankbait that I use to catch this fish. 
Here you see another fish, uh, another smallmouth bass that I caught, this time using the Kitek 3-inch minnow. It's a swim bait and uh, a little bit better size. It was pretty fun wading through the waters in Cypress Lake to catch my fish. And what I notice about the smallmouth bass in this lake is that uh, it's very light colored. I've never caught bass this light colored before. And uh, probably it's uh, camouflaging itself because the um, substrate, while I was wading in the water, I noticed that the substrate was really light colored too, like a sandy color. And so it's interesting that the fish um, kind of reflects the environment uh, that it lives in. And here's my kid holding up his rock bass proudly. He caught it himself off the dock. Sean, I got I got the Kai Tech soft plastic three inches uh, minnow. I still haven't uh, been able to bring it in. Is it jump one? I think it's. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. It's still fighting. Oh, it's strong. He's coming. He's coming. Thank you. Watch your step. Watch your step. It's coming. Oh, it's a good one. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. Got, got between my legs. Oh my god. Don't get in the pants. Oh, this is a good one. Wait, is it rock bass? Large mouth? Long it's large mouth. Oh, small mouth bass. Big oh, one. Oh, wait, I guess that. Oh, we got a big guy. Okay, let's take a picture. A really nice 15 inch small mouth bass from Cypress Lake. I've never fished this lake before. It's uh, near Tobermory, and uh, I'm going to let it go now. There it goes. Can you, can you catch a uh, fish right now? So lately I haven't had uh, a lot of opportunities to fish um, just with life and family. And uh, today I was able to get out to Cypress Lake at uh, Tobermory and I was able to land three smallmouth bass um, most of them were of the small variety, but the last one that I landed was pretty nice. It was on the Kitek 3 inch soft uh, plastic minnow, and I let it go. Hope you enjoyed this really short video, and I hope to bring you more content in the not too distant future. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.